residents of Homs in Syria are weary. The city has seen some of the heaviest fighting in a 10-month-old uprising against the rule of President Bashar al-Assad. An industrial hub and Syria's third largest city, Homs is home to Sunni Muslims but counts a large Alawite minority and some Christians. Now business is dead. The place is a battle zone and people fear it's becoming divided along political and sectarian lines. Assad supporters on one side and protesters on the other. Homs is in a mess and chaos, killing, stealing. People are dying. We closed our shops. Every day two or three or four get kidnapped. Shame on them. We want to finish this. This is not a solution. There's also concern that the violence can only get worse as army deserters hold up arms against government forces. Killing, killing is very clear. Killing is very clear. Those who are not afraid to talk, like this man, can only say so much. Something I cannot tell. Don't ask me about our president. Don't ask me about him. He should be know everything. Ask him. Ask him what happened in, the, in Syria. Ask him, not ask me. And how is life here for you now at the moment in this city? My life? There is no life. There is no life. The UN says more than 5,000 people have been killed in the security crackdown. The regime says 2,000 of their men have been killed. A funeral for two soldiers and a policeman was held in Homs on Monday. Media were escorted to a military hospital where wounded soldiers are being treated. One of them said they faced indiscriminate firing. After 10 months of bloodshed, ordinary Syrians are wondering what has happened to their country. And if there's one thing they are not scared to say, it is that they are wishing only for peace and stability. Michaela Cabrera, Reuters.